Hello my soccer universe. The new Eredivisie season starts on Friday evening and I have three questions ahead of the season. First off, will the PSV train keep on rolling? They have been sensational under Peter Bosch last season, have been winning, winning, winning a lot and they were the logical champion. They have a squad that remained largely the same. Will they continue to be as dominant as they have been last season? The other two big teams have new managers. After Arne Slot left Feyenoord for Liverpool, Brian Priske, the guy who brought Sparta Prague back to glory, comes in at Feyenoord, already won the Johan Kreifsal against PSV to open the season. There's a lot of change in the squad, but Feyenoord might be a challenger. Ajax, for the first time, have an Italian manager in Faraioli, who has done a pretty good job at Nice last season. However, I really question whether he will be able to lift Ajax back where they belong. Of course, there are other questions that could be asked, like is there another team that can break into the top three like last season with Twente? However, we have two pretty big names making it to the top division in Groningen and Willem Dwey. Can they survive and stay longer in the Eredivisie? My model predicts it's PSV's title to lose, however, they will face a challenge by Feyenoord once again. Ajax should finish in the third spot, 20 LZ make out the other two European spots. Then there's a broad field for the European playoff. As for the bottom going down, yeah, it's the three promoters teams who have a relatively tough challenge, but also Almere and Heracles are candidates for going down. Friday evening sees also the start of the new Liga Portugal season. And here are my three questions for this season. In Porto is the beginning of a new era. The new president is André Vias Boas and Sergio Conceição, the old coach, left at the end of the season. Now his assistant, Vitor Bruno, is taking over. And the question is, can they lead Porto back into the Champions League? At Benfica, Roger Schmidt is probably in a really precarious situation because either he will be glorious and win the title again like in his first year or only finishing second will not be enough. Can Benfica push for another title? The talent surely is there. And lastly, Ruben Amarim, who has led Sporting to two titles in four years, an unprecedented feat as of late for this club, has openly been flirting with the Premier League at the end of last season. So the question is, will he calm the storm and lead Sporting to another really great finish or will it all fall apart and you will see him in the Premier League rather sooner than later? <music> Well, my model would suggest, again, another really tight title race with Sporting just holding the edge over Porto and Befica, but it's really, really, really close between those three. Braga is in a very sure fourth place. There will be hardly any challenges from below. Maybe Vittoria de Guimaraes is one option. Then it is, as usual, a very broad midfield going all the way down to the relegation zone, where, of course, the three promoted teams at the moment look the worst. However, you never know. One of those will surely survive, I believe think. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!